what's poppin dreamers today it's pokemon time and uh i got a bit of a mission for myself today first we gotta go get something that i, I found over here and then the next thing we want to do is take on that gym um the new fire type gym it's gonna be super duper exciting and before we get in that cave i really need to hit up the repel that's what oh damn why do they always do that to me so it has been a few days since i played this game just because i was gone for a long weekend uh, <laughs> by what i'm saying long weekend now you guys might not even know what i mean by that by the time that this goes live <laughs> But I'm recording this after Memorial Day weekend. And uh, this is probably not going to go up for like a few weeks at least. Man, I'm glad these berries replenish. I hope you I didn't hear that motorcycle. I just drove by. Um, really excited. Oh man, look at all these berries. This is like the money for Amateur Town. So, pretty cool. <laughs> okay, we're getting closer. It's gonna be real exciting, I promise. Oh, that's not the right. Wait, this is the right way. Hey, hey. All right. And that's funny, we get a moonstone, and it just so happens that today, that we're recording, it's not nighttime. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I think it's funny. But, you may already know if you've watched the previous episodes, if you haven't, feel free to go check out the playlist. Uh, it'll have all the episodes right there for you, ready to watch. By the way, this is episode 24, I don't know if I mentioned that, I don't think I did. Uh, but, if you've been watching, you've been paying attention... You might know what our moonstone is used for. <laughs> oh, me, oh my, me, 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 oh my. Definitely a werewolf. Because it's a moonstone, it's a moon. Oh boy. Wow. <laughs> That's kind of crazy looking. He's got a cape. He's got a moon sigil on his chest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's check this out. So Tyler and Loki are kind of opposites. Uh, we'll breaker still okay. Attack eighty two, speed fifty two. Yeah. Okay, so that's pretty strong. Ooh, wow, these guys are tied for attack, but Loki's a little faster. But Tyler's a little bit bulkier. Alright. So yeah, that guy, he is officially my strongest physical attacker. And we are about to take on a fire type gym, so that's pretty exciting. I feel like we're probably underleveled for this gym. And maybe I should have taken a little time to train first, but I wanted to give myself that thing. Oh god, <laughs> why did I just run around in an S? We're gonna do our best. We're gonna at least take on the trainers. And hopefully it's not too bad. I think we can manage it. I think we're gonna be able to manage it. It's not raining. It's so rare. It is a rainforest. And look, the rain's back. No, I'm good on the repels now. We're safe. Okay, so, the fire gym should be up this way, as you can tell. Ooh. Oh, dang, it's quite a building. <laughs> Couldn't have been a fire type move or something. Like, flamethrower. Later, Tico, the flaming dancer. And if you recall from previous episode, he was being trapped. <laughs> he was trapped underground in the tunnel by uh, the big queen 
bug, and uh, we all had to we had to go save him. And he was pretty grateful, but he said, "I'm also a gym leader, so I'm not gonna treat you any differently." And, you know, we can walk over those mushrooms. That's the first time that that's happened. All right, well, let's do it. Hello, hello, the gym leader here is Tico. He is a dancer whose blazing steps and swishing skirts will burn themselves into your memory. Yes, he does quite like to wear skirts. They show off his calves quite nicely, don't they? Uh, yeah, I can't disagree with the guy. So we need strength, that's good to know. Imagine if I hadn't, well, I had to bring strength to get through the forest, so I had to have strength. Okay. Interesting. Alright, I'm gonna put Tyler out front. Hey! Never been much of a dancer, but I'm good at Pokemon battles. Alright, let's see what you got then. I think I think you're uh, your primary primary battle. My primary primary career might have to be dancing then if this is how you battle. That's what I'm gonna say at the end of the battle. When I've beaten him. I re also I have one of these in the box and I want to start using it as soon as this is over. It's kinda why I wanted to get moving with this gym. Oh god, that did a lot of damage. But this is gonna do even more. Yeah. Oh yeah, another one. I guess I kind of have to. Oh god. Let's see if this works. <laughs> Just don't hit me with another flamethrower like the last one did. Oh. Possible we live that? I doubt it. 48. Mm, yeah, I think it's just barely not livable. Alright, Rex, I guess you're gonna have to be the. Ooh! That works out for me. I completely forgot to check how many Pokemon this guy had, too. He's got three more, okay. Hit him up. That's gonna do zero. Don't flinch me though. Nice. Yeah, nice one shot. Alright. Another one. Oh, I think you got this, Rex. Pull some. Okay, easy peasy so far. What else has he got? Nah, Rex, Rex is actually going to be so useful. <laughs> Let's try a spark. Just out of curiosity. And perfect, this is weakens my water type moves, I go for the electric type moves. That's what's up. To worry about aqua jet i can just take him right down and there's some dogs barking i hope you guys can't hear that well if you can hopefully it's not too loud or too distracting all right Ooh. i think that's more powerful than water poles right 60 this should be 80 right oh boy should i keep magnet rise is it really that useful it's not like it's not like rex is really that fast it might just be useful to have a lot of power points and moves for this gym. Yeah, I don't think I'm ever really gonna use Magnet Rise, unfortunately. Like as good as a uh, as good as um, a strategy it can be. I don't think, like especially in the in-game, if I'm fighting the Fire Gym, I'm probably gonna use Rex a lot. Fire is useful in the forest, not so much for the heat, but that it keeps the bugs away. I agree. Uh, but what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, you should pick a different career path. Maybe pick up dancing. 
because you're better at dancing than you are at freaking battling. Hey, I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, perfect! I, just as I was like losing my mind, sneezing. Okay, um, I just barely hit the hit the mute button. So hopefully you guys didn't hear that. All right, I forgot I don't have to do it again. Oh, this is a puzzle and a half. All right, that does nothing. Good to know. What about this one? I I I hope I bet that did something somewhere. I'm gonna leave it for now. I messed up. No. Crap. <laughs> that was just an accident, I swear. Damn it, now I gotta like restart this whole thing just because I accidentally pushed it one further. Ugh. Oh, I gotta even. No! <laughs> exactly what I'm trying not to do here. Okay, don't walk towards it. Alright, let's just try this. Okay, is that a bug catcher in the fire gym? Oh, he must have a fire rogue. That's probably not the best matchup for Tyler then. It's a good matchup for Blaze though. I'm actually pretty stacked for the fire gym, I think. Oh man, there's nothing over here. If you play with fire, you're gonna get burned. Oh, it's Raymond. Oh, my brother's taller than me. <laughs> that's a joke for anyone that's old enough to have seen the show. Everybody loves Raymond. Which probably not a lot of people that are watching this video. Oh man. Man. Why do these get nightshade? Why is it their best move? Oh man, for a second I thought I missed. But no, I did not. Okay, level 31 perhaps? Hey, hey. Do you just have three fire oaks? Yeah. You can definitely take on another one at least. Boom. Oh god, good night. We can take that, we can take that, we can take that. Yeah. Don't miss. Bam, down, 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 down. Another one. I will have to switch for this one. Yeah, I mean, Fire Rook are kind of scary. Not gonna let someone who maybe doesn't have type advantage try to take it on. That'd just be foolish. Let's try Scald. Ooh, that animation though. Can we get a burn? Oh, oh, go. Hey, we're getting to some strong moves now. Youch. In the dark, wet forest, fire is all that stands between civilization and the wilderness beyond. Interesting. Hmm. So is this one? This is oh! <laughs> For a second I was like, am I gonna catch on fire? Ah, dang, alright. So maybe I need to put this one on. And that does something. <laughs> okay, yeah, that unlocks this one. Okay, cool. I knew it would do something. Alright, now let's try putting... Stupid dogs. Put 
and Tyler back out front, and we can also heal up Blaze, because if this person has any Pyrokes, or Pyrokes, <laughs> I'm thinking of Sage, this person has, or Pyro, I'm thinking of the, the caption, the created Pokemon on Smoga. Uh, let's get, if this person has any Pyrokes, then we'll need Blaze to be healthy. <laughs> see if you can match my steps. Oh, so you're a dancer, huh? Cool trainer Sora would like to battle. Did you know him? <laughs> uh, he has a rap torch. She has a rap torch. That's what I said. Kind of interesting to see the starters in random places. Boom. Now I hope that this levels me up. Yeah. Nice level thirty. Flagger. I can take this on. We have 100 HP now. Let's do it. Flamethrower. We can take that now, right? Easy. Oh man, that's a crit. Alright. <laughs> that's just. Thank you for giving me the information I wanted to hear. To hear. <laughs> just like, oh, we leveled up. Maybe we can live a fl have flamethrower with half health now. And of course, we don't. Get it to learn that because we get critted. <laughs> I'm speaking such a good English. I'm speaking such a good English right now. Believe it. Hit him with that scald. Don't flinch. Don't flinch. Yeah. Knock him out. Knock him clean out. Knock him clean out. Level up. Oh. I slipped up. Yeah, maybe you should try try dancing. I'm working on my dance routine where I twirl blazing torches. What? So wait, did that? What did that do now? Did that open up something over here? Oh no. Did I fuck it up? I think I fucked it up again. No. Are you kidding me? Oh god damn it. No. <laughs> I think I fucked it up. Ah, I can't. This is so annoying. Can they just give me uh, like one more s little tile space so I don't do that accidentally all the time, please? <sighs> I gotta go through the whole dialogue again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Now, this one over here. Not that way. I gotta do the other one first. I'm not gonna do that same mistake. Okay. Okay, so that one lets us up there. Now, what does this one accomplish? Oh, jeez, this game's a little lackey today for some reason. Okay, I don't see anything change visibly. I guess we'll check it out. Oh, God. Okay, so we'll go back this way. Let's see what we got over here. Okay. Alright, this is open now. We got two options. Oh, we got one option. <laughs> There's nothing over here. Okay, we're making progress. We're making progress. Let's see what this does. Okay. Now we go this way. It's making us take the long scenic route here. And there's the gym leader. I could hop over those flames, I'm telling you. Oh, is it this is the last trainer, okay. How's everybody doing? You're not doing hot. 
Let's get you a heat potion. So, yeah, I assume that pushing this boulder onto that will unlock the gym leader. In which case, not that difficult a puzzle. But if that does something else, then pretty difficult to puzzle, so we'll see. See if you can counter my blazing moves. Wally. Sicker than Wally. Ooh, this is great for Tyler. Also, this thing I really want to train. This thing, the other fire one, my grass type, and my psychic type. Those are the things I want to train after we get out of this dang town. Why, why you gotta drop my speed? Is it really necessary? Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Nice. Boosh. Yeah, that's four times effective because it's fire poison type. Yeah. Another one. Unfortunately, I think I do have to switch. Let's see. Let's have your man. No, let's try Loki. Because Loki's lowest lowest on the ladder right now. And it's very very far from leveling up. But let's see if you can take on a flagger. Poison Fang is probably my strongest right now. We can live one flamethrower, right? Holy cow, we really need to TM for flamethrower. Ooh. That was some clean damage. We're not gonna live another hit. But that was some good damage. <laughs> Rex, come help me out. Ooh, you get to level up. That's gonna be nice. Oh. Point. Aqua Jet. I feel like Aqua Jet is gonna be really nice against this gym leader. I have 19 more of them. Ooh. Oh, kidding me? Oh, perfect. A little, little, little warm up for Blaze. A little warm up. You see what I said there? You see what I said there about warm up? He's already pretty hot, but he wants to get hotter. I should have stopped with the first one. Yeah. Alright, Blaze, you just don't miss this next one, and we're good. We're golden. Well, he's got one more. She's. Is it? He was he. Was, he's got one more. Wally. Sicker than Wally. Nice crit. Unnecessary, but I like the effort. I like the, the, the intent. Level up. Evolve. That's what I hope. Ooh. So, air cutter 60.95, 75.95. That's a bit lower power points, but it is stronger by 15. Yeah, I think it's the right play. Nice. You got another one? Yeah, I guess I'll have to switch. Uh, let's see. Hazel, let's see what you got. I believe you can take this thing on. Is night... Nightshade, is that a ghost type move? I hope so. But then I also have to face the fire type wrath of this thing. And I'm not sure if I'm up for that. But we might just knock you out right here, which I hope we do. Oh, close. Fire spin. Now that's not as strong as the Pokemon card said it was. It's actually just kind of a low power move, but it traps. That's the cool thing about it. Except it's never used anyway. I'm going to let me try using the... Oh, there's Magma Storm. It's basically the same thing on Heat Ram. Uh, ouch, I burned myself. Basically the same thing. Um, except only Heat Ram gets it, I think. Let's see if we have enough to heal. We got six. That should do it, right? You get one, because that's all you need. You get one, because that's all you need. And I think the Hyper Potion's for everyone else. We're gonna need him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's my last hyper potion. I got one super potion. I got a full restore. 
I got a full heal, ether, elixir, HP up, carbos, PP up, rare candy, coconut milk. Oh, coconut milk, that's actually really useful. Maybe I should bust out a couple rare candies right before this. Get Loki up. Yeah, why not? Let's just get everyone at least level 30. That sounds good to me. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. We are almost ready. Well, I was, I was like trying to avoid eye contact, but not the same as a regular trainer, so. Okay, so there's a very good chance we're about to get blown away. But, let me tell you one thing. I believe in this team. This, look at this team. We're going to do great. Oh my god, no way. Every time some person just calls me, like, I'm standing right in front, like, oh, oh. Excuse me, excuse me, sorry Tico, just gonna, just gonna take this call real quick. Uh, Route 10, they're calling me. Okay. No, whenever you want, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Alright, sorry about that. What's going on? <laughs> Hello, Dig. Cannot thank you enough for bailing me out in the ant, though. Is it ant hell? Oh, I get it. Ant hell. <laughs> that could have been a very unpleasant situation for all of us. I regret that I couldn't be at my full strength then, but now I'm ready to accept your challenge. A battle is like a dance. Just as a dancer would be in time with the music, so too must a trainer be synchronized with their Pokemon. You showed great strength in facing down Sekameter. Now I, Tico, the master dancer, will test your metal. My metal. Is that a dancing thing I'm not aware of? Ooh, nice earrings. Oh damn, look at those calves. That guy wasn't kidding. Ooh, that's not a great start. <laughs> not a great start. And it's level 35, too. Dang. Alright, so we're instantly gonna have to switch. <laughs> uh, but maybe, just maybe, we'll have two level ups after we take this thing down. Dang, I wanted to hit you with a scald and see if it knocked you out. But I guess, wait. He has five Pokemon. Dang. Okay. That's gonna do nothing except you're gonna flinch me because you probably have a King's Rock or something, right? Okay, cool. <laughs> Just knock him out. If he gets to if he gets to smidgens, we still go for Spark, but it knocks him out clean. All right. That's oh so close. Level 34 though. A Fire Oak. I will switch because Blaze handles those like no problem. And Sunny Day is up. Although that probably helps all of his Pokemon and only one of my Pokemon. Unfortunately. Level 35. Okay. We, we can take that on. We've definitely taken on that before, if not close to that. And we have Air Slash now, which is doing a lot of damage. And we flinch. And we flinch. And he's got the Hyper Potion. Good. Use it. I dare you. Just gonna bring you all the way back down. Let's see how many hyper potions you have, my friend. <laughs> I love it when it works out like that, when you just you have the perfect move that just makes your opponent waste all of their hyper potions like right away. Okay. He's used two. What are the chances he has more? He withdrew. Oh <gasps> Pajay. Holy crap! So that's the evolved form of this guy right here. Level 36, that must mean it's coming up. That's dope as hell. Okay, so he's got a Fire Oak. He's got one of these. I might want to save plays for that Fire Oak. But I honestly, who the hell is going to switch in on this beast? Rex, so I think it's you. I think you're the only one that can. Hopefully. <laughs> it's going to bust out like a, a Power Herb Solar Beam right now. And he misses. Hell yeah. Yeah, now don't go for sunny day, just take this skull to the face. Now that's gonna do no damage, just don't flinch me. Don't flinch me. Nice. Let's see how much this does. Ooh, yes! That is a really cool thing, I'm really excited to get that on my team. I'm so excited. Okay. Back to Blaze for the Fire Oak. 
I really hope that, that this guy, that Blaze does evolve before level 36, because sometimes gym leaders are able to kind of bend the rules a little bit. Kind of unfortunate. Uh, I feel like Flame Burst might just take this thing down from this level, because I don't want to miss an Air Slash, so I'm going to try it. It's not, it's neutral, so it should do, yeah, cool. Didn't want to risk it. Ooh. Chimaconda. Oh, that's gonna be the evolved form of Chimical, the one we caught in like a few episodes ago. That's poison and fire, but since it's poison and fire, that means my ground type should be able to take it on, right? And Tyler's really close to leveling up again. This thing. Okay, that's pretty interesting. That's pretty interesting. It's level 38. Oh god, please. Come on now. Oh, come on. It's not a flamethrower. Come on. Yes! Yes! Yes. Oh! Ooh. Does this lowered speed mean? No, there's no way. <laughs> I'm not gonna outspeed this thing. I mean, do I dare switch Rex in, knowing that he's got another Pokemon in the back? Do I dare switch any of these guys in? We have priority on Hazel and Blaze and Rex. I really don't want Tyler to go down here. Hmm. I guess Blaze is probably the safest switch if he is going to go for a Fire-type move. Although, is a quick attack going to take this thing down? Six levels? A six level difference? I'm not sure. I might outspeed it though. It did get speed lowered. Let's try it. Yeah! Blaze coming through. Good night. So that's definitely a level up for both of these guys. Level 31. Yeah, that was not a lot of experience. I was expecting a lot more. Inflagetta? What the hell is that? Well, uh, I'm gonna have to go to Rex, I think. What is this thing gonna be? I'm so confused and so nervous and so scared. It's also level 38. <gasps> is that what the flag revolves into? That's dope! Let's see how you fare against this final dance move. Alright, let's go. Let's go, kid. Extreme speed, get paralyzed. Oh. Okay, critical hit to finish it off. I don't like the in unfairness of that, but I also like winning, so I'm gonna take it. Marvelous, those moves were simply stunning. A blazing battle. My eyes were still watering. My eyes are still watering. Here you go. You earned it well. A salsa badge. I get it, man. Because of dancing. My salsa badge will allow you to use surf outside of battle. It also makes your Pokemon more fabulous. Here, take this TM as well. Ooh, overheat. Okay. Not flamethrower, but I'll take it. <laughs> That team contains overheat. It's an enormously powerful fire type attack that leaves the user a little burned out. Use it wisely. I don't say this to just anyone, but I really hate this bug infested joke of a town. <laughs> Even Vinaville is more technologically advanced than Amatree. My truest wish is to get the hell out of here, especially after nearly getting eaten. <laughs> yeah, I, honestly, I don't blame you, dude. I do not blame you. And look at that, the fire is perfectly aligned so that we get to walk straight out of here. Hello, hello, the gym leader is here is Tico. Oh my god, you're supposed to, like, were you not watching? Were you just, like, just watching, like, Netflix on your phone, you dumb animal? <laughs> oh god, I apologize. Look at that, we didn't even lose a single team member. Everybody is still awake, and we are, we were very underleveled for that, in my opinion. He had two level 38s, and I had a, do I even have a level 34? I got a level 34 in that battle, and that's my highest level. 
damn. Uh, I think this is the heal center. <laughs> music. Yep, music. <laughs> Yeesh. Alright, so that's gonna do it guys. Thankfully that was a perfectly timed episode. We're just hitting right over 35 minutes right now. So uh, in the next episode, uh, I might do some training between now and then, uh, but we'll probably make our way out of this area. Um, I think I've seen most of the stuff I want to see. Um, yeah, I just want to train those other Pokemon. Uh, maybe train up some of my current team members a little bit too. Uh, but I'll try to save all evolutions for on screen because I know that's exciting and I I'll, I'll definitely want to share that experience with you guys so for now uh, keep dreaming peace out uh, check out the uh, other episodes check out the playlist uh, catch yourself up and if you haven't if you're, if you're caught up and you're looking for more and you don't feel like waiting a day uh, you can check out the Pokemon Sage Let's Play which is already should already be completed by the time that this episode goes up um, so feel free to check that out uh, there's also the Pokemon Ethereal Gates Let's Play from a while back. Uh, you can check that out as well. They are both completed. They are only demos, so uh, Ethereal Gates only goes like, like two gyms, and, Ethereal, and uh, Sage only goes three. So they are very uh, incomplete. But honestly, I think Sage might be one of my favorite games that I've played in ter just in Pokemon in general. Uh, so definitely go check those out and check out the rest of the episodes of Uranium if you haven't. And otherwise, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell so you know when, I, uh, when, uh, when that stuff's coming out. And let me go ahead and overwhelm you with information. Goodbye!